If you feel proud, let it be in the thought that you are the servant of God, the Son of God. As a piece of rope, when burnt, retains its form, but cannot serve to bind, so is the ego which is burnt by the fire of supreme knowledge. That knowledge which purifies the mind and heart alone is true knowledge. To explain God after merely reading the scriptures is like explaining to a person the city of Benares after seeing it only in a map. The nearer you come to God, the less you are disposed to questioning and reasoning. The sacred books tell us only the way to God, i.e. of the means for the realization of God. That way being known, the next step is to work one's way to the goal. Realization is the goal. Utter the word Gita, in quick succession, a number of times gi ta gi ta gi taggy. It is then virtually pronounced as taggy, taggy, which means one who has renounced the world for the sake of God. Thus, in one word, the Gita teaches, renounce, ye world-bound men. Renounce everything, and fix the mind on the Lord. To him who is free, hundreds of people come from all sides anxious to be taught. When a rose blossoms, bees come from all sides uninvited. The holy teachings that come from the mouths of godly men seem to be uttered by those men themselves, while in reality they proceed from God. The soul that has tasted the sweetness of divine bliss finds no happiness in the vulgar pleasures of the world. The spiritually minded belong to a caste of their own, beyond all social conventions. A boat may stay in water, but water should not stay in the boat. An aspirant may live in the world, but the world should not live within him. The magnetic needle always points to the north, and hence it is that the sailing vessel does not lose her direction. So long as the heart of man is directed towards God, he cannot be lost in the ocean of worldliness. Forgiveness is the true nature of the ascetic. Honor both spirit and form the sentiment within as well as the symbol without. People of this age care for the essence of everything. They will accept the essentials of religion and not its non-essentials, that is the rituals, ceremonials, dogmas and creeds. As a toy fruit or a toy elephant reminds one of the real fruit and the living animal, so do the images that are worshipped remind one of him who is formless and eternal. When one sees God, one realizes that everything, images and all, is a manifestation of the spirit. To him the image is not made of clay but of spirit. The companionship of the holy and the wise is one of the main elements of spiritual progress. Even moist wood placed upon a fire soon becomes dry and finally begins to burn. Similarly, the society of the pious drives away the moisture of greed and lust from the hearts of worldly persons, and then the fire of vivica discrimination burns steadily in them. Knowingly or unknowingly, consciously or unconsciously in whatever state of mind man utters God's name, he acquires the merit of such utterance. A man who voluntarily goes to a river to bathe therein gets the benefit of the bath, so does he also who has been pushed into the water by another, or who, when sleeping soundly, has water thrown upon him. Sing with Bhakti the hallowed name of the Lord, and the mountain of your sins will vanish, just as a mountain of cotton will burn to ashes and disappear if but a spark of fire falls on it. Be not like the frog in the well. The frog in the well knows nothing bigger and grander than its well. So are all bigots. They do not see anything better than their own creed.